I'm going to build a wildlife garden. I'm going to dig a pond. I'm going to plant caterpillar food plants. I'm going to hang bird feeders and bee hotels and put bird boxes in the cavities of the walls of my house. It's going to be really noisy. It's going to be really colourful and it's going to be really exciting. So for me, wildlife gardening starts small. We start at the bottom of the food chain. So we grow the plants that bring in the caterpillars, that bring in the grubs and the aphids and all the little leaf miners and things like that, that then bring in the birds and the frogs and the toads and the hedgehogs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grow shade-loving perennials and shrubs on this side, dotted in between with little sort of shade-loving woodlandy flowers. And then on this side, I'm just gonna have a wall of flowering plants for bees and it's gonna be gorgeous. This is three days after we took the patio and the path up and exposed all of that lovely soil. It's a hedgehog! So it's a really grainy shot of a hedgehog walking across a camera in the middle of the night. But it doesn't really matter. It's, it's, it's proof that we've got hedgehogs here and I'm going to make it the perfect habitat for them. I must have half of the red mason bees of Brighton and Hove coming in and they're taking all of my precious clay that we've dutifully laid on the pond and they're using it to line their nests. Because we've had such a dry spring, I'm having the best red mason year I've ever had. I'll probably have to fill the mud back in after they've finished, but it's, it's so wonderful to see. What the red mason bees are doing is they're going to my pond, they're taking the mud, they're gathering it up and they're bringing back little balls of mud. Hello. And they are using it and they're making, if you can see, they're making these walls and then within the walls she's gathering pollen and nectar which is, it's like a big cake of pollen and nectar and on that cake she's laying an egg and then she's sealing this little room with more mud. And now in summer, leafcutter bees are using leaves to line their nests in this bee hotel. But I've also just seen a leafcutter bee using the petals of my chamomile to finish her nest off, which is something I've not seen before. I've barely left the house since I made this garden. I never want to leave. It's my happy place. I love standing by the kitchen window and watching the sparrows coming in. And last week I had sparrows teaching their babies to have a bath, which was just so cute. It's just gorgeous. It's just, it's just the most wonderful thing. It makes me very, very happy indeed.